All right, we're back. Let's answer some of your questions now. Let's start out with Joe. Joe from Jason in Maryland. Can I get your take on Seattle Genetics? Seattle Genetics, clearly my favorite biotech name. It's a mid-cap focused on oncology, currently trading at about $165. It's broken out significantly in the last two quarters, but this is a stock that's going to have continued technical and fundable, fundamental momentum and will trade north of $200 within the next six months. Okay, thank you for that. Steve Weiss to you from Emily in Austin, Texas. What's the best way to determine if a stock is quote unquote cheap enough to start building a position? Well, it's not by the stock price, believe it or not, because stock prices can be cut in half. And if you're cutting the earnings or the cash flow, the EBITDA, by 75%, then it's actually more expensive. So you've got to apply the fundamentals to it. So some trade in PE, some trade in EBITDA cash flows, I mentioned, and look at it that way. And they trade, depending upon the industry, at different levels. So it's really stock specific that you have to look at. All right, Jimmy, no general rule in terms of what's expensive. Vic in Long Beach, California, for you, Jim Raytheon. Can I get your thoughts? Yeah, a couple of thoughts here. One, this is kind of a chicken way to play Boeing. And if you're noticing what's going on with Boeing, it's rallying because they may just get this 737 MAX up in the air uh, uh, tonight. Um, now, Raytheon supplies jet engines, avionics, all sorts of things, not just a Boeing to Airbus. So it's going to participate. But the other good thing to think about with Raytheon, this quarter, the second quarter, is the first quarter since the merger with United Technologies. After they report that quarter, analysts are going to be able to sink their teeth into what it really means, what the earnings power of this company is. I think they're going to be pleasantly surprised. So this is a good time to buy it. All right. Lastly to you, Shannon from Norm in Wisconsin. Dell seems to have found traction and momentum. Is it worth, is it, worth it to buy more shares now? Well, Norm, it's all about VMware. So Dell owns 81% of VMware. Um, it's about a third of their operating profits and half of their free cash flow. So the, the gains that you're seeing are as a result of that VMware position. There's talks about a spin-off. Um, I don't think it's in Bell, Dell's best interest, but if you're patient, um, you could see the realization of this discount that they're seeing at the conglomerate level over the course of time, but it might take a little bit of time for you if you buy it now.